Well, good afternoon or whatever time of day it is where you are. This is Stephen Dynan, the host of Birth 2012 TV and the producer of Birth 2012. And I'm just delighted to be sharing with you here today because the excitement is building in extraordinary ways. Uh, there's, there's a palpable sense of this thing is really going to pop globally. We've been talking with Unify, who we're now working with, about meditations, a lot of celebrities activating around this. There's going to be a synthesis of our programming. We're going to share a lot about that today. But first, we want to begin with three minutes of love, as we've been doing each day as a practice to build towards three days of love. Three days of love is a, it's a very serious commitment. Most of us go through the day, ups and downs, we're feeling uh, anxious or stressed, and to actually take it on, to really be a source of love for three full days is a serious commitment. So let's start with three minutes, and we're gonna have our guest, Charlie Gay, lead us in that. What an honor it is to fill up three minutes of love with you today. Um, right from the outset, let's just stop. Let's be silent. Let's move into our hearts and feel the love beat of our heart. Let us do this for 10, 15 seconds. Can you feel the love that's in your heart? Can you feel the, the minefield of your mind stepping away and just connect through to your heart? In your day to day, stuff is going to come up. Stuff where judgment could cause you to shift away from your love. Recognize that as you point that finger, there are the three fingers pointing back. Bring them back into your heart. Recognize that everyone in the world is doing the best they know how. Everyone around you is doing the best they know how. If they knew any different, they'd be doing it. So it's so easy to be compassionate to your fellow human. And yet how, how hard is it to receive the love for yourself? Let us spend a few seconds receiving the love of, of your child that is inside of you. Peel away the confusion and the compromise and the conflict that may have come through your early years. Recognize that even if you're in a chaotic moment, in, in this very second as you're watching this, recognize the opportunity that's there, the choice that you have to move back into that position of love, beyond fear and darkness. No despot has ever survived history. Love and light conquers all. It is held up by caring, a caring for yourself, a caring for your fellow humans. Connect as you progress into these last few seconds of your three minutes. Connect with yourself, with your highest power, Close your eyes and recognize that everything around you is for your highest good. This or something better for your highest good. You go out into your world, stuff will come up again and realize that you can walk through it from a position of love, that you are everything with love and light around you and inside of you. God bless you. Well, Charlie, what a pleasure to have you begin with love. And, you know, honestly, I think that's part of the, the main job qualification that, that I was so drawn to in bringing you in as executive producers. I could feel that you had not only produced these extraordinary events and 
media productions and managed share and done stadium events, but you really lived and moved from love. And I recognize that the intensity of what we're creating needs a field of love in which to, for that energy to flow because it's, it's a lot that we've taken on. And so I'd love for you to share about a, a bit about how you've grown into really having this spacious, non-attached way of producing very large things. Well, first of all, Stephen, I want to say that you personify, and everyone that's in our team personifies that. And it's really great to do events. Uh, and I've realized that uh, love is at the core of all events because we're often coming together as groups of crews, sound, stage, dancers, and it's been fun being on the road with Cher, for instance. I mean, people think of Cher as, you know, the superstar. Um, and we often get caught up in the labels of media stars. And um, the reality is she's a divine goddess. Mm. Um, <laughs> her nickname, which she doesn't use anymore when we're in hotel rooms, was uh, Cleopatra or Isis. <laughs> <laughs> so that says a lot. Right. And, and surrounded by divine feminine women, and I was very blessed that she asked me to come in uh, and be involved with that. So, you know, producing events, when you do something live, anything can happen. Anything like can right happen. Like right now, we could have all kinds of crazy things happen. All sorts of things happen. <laughs> and so, you know, when you come back to the basis of, of this statement, which is the issue is never the issue. It's how I am responding to the issue, mm. which is the issue. Right. And then you try and apply it to the biggest thing that you could possibly do, which was your gift to us in Birth 2012. Because you know what? Doing a rock and roll tour with whoever it is, whether it be Rihanna or Cher or whoever, months of planning, crew in place, promoters, ticket sales, it's pretty regimented. You know what you're, what you're discovering. You even know your set list right. pretty well. In this case, there is so many unknowns even today. Even today, and even when we go into the live. Mm -hmm. Because there are so many wonderful people out there in the world, connected in your hubs, connected into the feeds or across the world, mm -hmm. that are all pulsing with the same beat. Mm -hmm. You know, uncommon people united in this moment for, with common heart for mm -hmm. common purpose. Mm -hmm. So who knows what's going to show up? But I shared with, your, uh, with Baron from Catalyst, from inside your organization, that I will know myself better on December 23rd. And I can assure you and everyone else that you'll know yourself better <laughs> the day after this event. That's, that's a beautiful philosophy. And, and uh, I've really, for me, it's been uh, being the end of the line of like, you know, making the final decisions on things can be really challenging. I've really mm. loved the way you've mentored me and kind of held a loving space for, the, for me to grow into this as well, because it has been a real stretch to try to produce things that are way beyond anything I've produced before. And just to say, Yes, spirit, I'm showing up, I'm going to do this, I trust that the resources will emerge, and so it's been really a godsend. So, um, but let's, let's, I wanted to get a little bit different angle of you into this as well. You've also been a really extraordinary philanthropist as well, and that's, that's part of what I think this event brings together, is this part of you that's been, produced large events, and now, you know, media uh, platforms for other people, but also just a real philanthropist. I'd love for you to share a little bit about some of the work you've done. Um, in Africa, for instance, that, and, and with Hubbed, that, that really is about marrying the transformational impulse with the real service in the larger world. Mm. I think um, my dad was very involved with charity, um, and he was very, very philanthropic. Uh, and then in my 20s in music, I was sort of pretty random. But meeting Cher, um, we, uh, she did a movie called Mask which had involved with children cranial facial uh, disease. And we used to do these meet and greets. So uh, I met humanity sort of in my face on the road with Cher. Mm -hmm. um, and we gave e e ears to girls that didn't have ears. Mm -hmm. And then we would give them earrings for their ears mm -hmm. after 20 or 30 operations. So I was being forged um, in, my, in, my, in my world with that into my heart. Then I took on uh, educating myself around my own humanity. Uh, and then I started to reach out and see what that looked like. I've had, like all of us, 
you know, life is quite random at times. And I got a call um, to go down to South Africa uh, to become executive director of a nonprofit whose patrons were Nelson Mandela and his wife, Grasha Michelle, and, um, which was extraordinary. And, and so I went into the field. Uh, and the compassion field can etch the soul and the heart in a way that no words mm. will ever do. And um, I went down to Africa in 2005 initially to do landmine removal. Um, and I thought I was going down there to give. And, and, and I saw some big issues. 80,000 people walked into a refugee camp one day that didn't exist the day before because of floods and cyclones forcing them into higher ground. And the charities had no money or any food. And the UN didn't have any money. And my patrons went around. Uh, and, and so when, you, when, when I saw that, you know, I can't ignore. You can't ignore that. Mm -hmm. uh, so I had to respond the best way I could, and I, I, I figured out how to put a, a very large band-aid of food on a hemorrhaging wound. Mm. Uh, and in that moment, I committed to um, more uh, what Mandela talks about, teaching a fisherman to fish. Uh, and so I got very involved with social enterprise. Mm. And it was 2006, 2005, and uh, Mohammed Yunus had just started social enterprise. And my life went on from that. Mm. And I want to say at the end of it that I see more prosperity in the f compassion field in the slums of Africa than I do on our own streets. Mm. I see the matriarch uh, family unit intact. I see the power of and hunger for education intact. I see the family unit completely intact. And I go back to, to the very least the most has been given. Mm. I don't see a hundred times uh, multiple earnings. I don't see no money down mortgages. I see truth and uh, I see honesty mm -hmm. uh, in the darkest of places. Mm. Uh, and so I have tremendous amount of hope that through humanity and philanthropy um, that this world shifts. Mm -hmm. Well, it just speaks to the deeper level of what we're creating is really an opportunity for people to open their hearts to the entire world. Yes. And that, that is the essence of philanthropy. The love of humanity is at the source of this, that the three days of love is an opportunity for us to become the greatest philanthropists that we can be because the love flowing through us and receive, that we receive back in creates this virtuous cycle of opening to more and more. And that also means opening to the suffering. We have we have the massacre in Connecticut. It's yeah. really cracking open the heart of the world right now. And I, yeah. I think the timing may, may be no accident in certain ways that there's a heartbreaking moment right before a heart opening uh, celebratory moment for the world. And so that they're actually part and parcel together. You have to be willing to be a bit heartbroken at least before you can be truly uh, in the field of love. You, you're so, uh, so accurate. David White, who's the great poet, did a poem called The Well of Grief. Hmm. Uh, and there are our own glittering coins that are in the shadows of the bottom of the well. And often we don't have the courage or the conviction to pick those coins up, which are our own brilliance and our own beauty. Uh, and we, we ignore, we, we are so stressed with the issues of our families and our world and, and our own economies and stuff. And, and when Princess Diana passed, who was involved with landmine removal, you know, we all well into our well, well of grief. Mm. I remember Oprah pointing the cameras in the New Orleans Stadium after Katrina and saying, you know, the pity is that these cameras won't be here in eight days' time, mm -hmm. and yet the issue will be still here. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you, you know, the issue in Connecticut has, I sense, opened our well of grief. My prayer and hope is that each of us doesn't veneer it over and let the wound right. seep, that we right. really open it up right. and we really do look at it mm -hmm. and keep looking at it and keep looking at it. Because the more open we are in the vulnerability mm -hmm. that something like this brings up, mm -hmm. the greater it is our chance to shift our humankind. Mm, that's beautiful. Well, I'd like to bring in a clip now. We have Barbara Marks Hubbard is, has uh, sent us a clip about three days of love from Australia. And part of what brought us together is a mutual love for this divine 
uh, woman who is 82 years old and a, a mother, a grandmother figure for all of us, just blessing and loving all of us and really the inspiration for three days of love. And so let's, let's hear what she had to say, just a couple minutes about the upcoming three days of love and how we can best invoke that in our lives. I'm Catherine Roski and I'm here with my husband Makasha and our dear friend Barbara Marks Hubbard and we're in Byron Bay, Australia, preparing for the Uplift Festival and Birth 2012. And it's such a potent time. The three of us has, have been aware of this time since 1987 and the Harmonic Convergence, where groups of people came together all over the world at sacred sites and in their homes and special places to synchronize a global movement of consciousness to spread around the world in preparation for this time, December 21st, a time when we're all being called forward to give our unique gifts to this planetary shift. So Barbara, would you tell us more about this? Well, I am so amazed to find that the end of the world is front page news. That's the opening for the breakthrough of the new news of what's being born. Because it's true something is ending. A whole state of consciousness, of overgrowth, of domination and control must end. And mm. what the end of that world is signifying is there's a readiness on the planet Earth for the birth of the new. How are we going to do this? We're going to come together to, to reveal that there is a new humanity now being born. It's going to be celebrated in birth 2012 with a 24 hour global broadcast. It's most important to be celebrated through pledging three days of love. If we can develop from December 20th through 22nd a synchronized pattern and field of love, mm -hmm. I believe we can shift the consciousness field of Earth from fear to love and prepare for the birth of the new humanity celebrated on December 22nd. What do you think, Makasha? <laughs> well, I, I just want to reach out and just invite our world family to come together in this great time for all of us so that we can really infuse the nervous system with love and I know we can do it as a humanity so let's come together now and join. Yes, <laughs> there we are. We love you. <laughs> Well, Barbara just never fails to bring a smile to my face with that, that level of love, loving presence and such beauty. And just a reminder that um, we are going to be going live from Byron Bay with our, with our global webcast of the theater of our birth. And it's actually 7.30 p.m. Pacific time tomorrow night when that begins. So we'll be sharing a bit more about that later. But let's, let's go back to you, Charlie. And so we've, we've talked a lot about love, but let's talk specifics. What, what, is, what is getting you excited to bring to the world about this broadcast, whether it's the music or the artistry or what, what, what are the elements that, that are most compelling to you? I think going back to what Bar Barbara, who is, you know, she's 80 something going on one whenever I watch it. <laughs> it's, like, it's like love personified, you yes. know? Um, Jerry Maguire, yes, 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 Whenever, you know, you got me at hello. Um, she talks about the imaginal self. I heard it many times, we all have, where um, there are so many people in this world that are isolated in their homes um, from Los Angeles, um, where we will be congregating. We have this opportunity of connecting all the imaginal cells. And she talks about the imaginal cells uh, in their glue and their gunk as they, they come together. So the caterpillar doesn't have the imaginal cell, then this imaginal cell suddenly appears and a butterfly is formed, the imaginal cell stays in the butterfly. And of course we know what a butterfly personifies in, in its flight and its beauty. Uh, and so that connection which we're able to bring through the broadcast of mm. Birth 2012 is literally to bring a community together. Mm -hmm. And not only are we broadcasting through the player, but we're also allowing people to communicate. You mm. know, I saw the divinity in Facebook. Mm. Uh, I was asked to do a live broadcast, live in 3D, live in America on TV, it was from South Africa. And then Facebook started to interest me in the fact that there's a billion people on it already. A billion! And when, you, when I caught up with you and you caught up with me, we were talking about 100 million people connected in humanity. Right. You know, why not a billion? Right. <laughs> Ever. So that, that, uh, 
That really excites me is the connection. Yeah. And what you have brought forward and what Barbara brings forward is authentic expression. And people love to both hear our exp authentic expression and share it with others. And so I really encourage everyone to connect their friends and everyone else mm. in what we're doing. One way people can do that out there, we have a Three Days of Love campaign now. Go through Three Days of Love Facebook page. You can submit your videos and photos of love and we're gonna share the best of those on the global broadcast. And I wanted, before we uh, wrap up with you, I, wanted, I want you to share a bit about how people can host this global web broadcast in their own community, which I think is one of the beauties of how we've designed this and, and the company you've created. Yes. Uh, and we all see the small groups. You created hubs, Barbara created hubs. We love the small nucleus where people can come into a kitchen, you know, uh, or into a living room. And, and we've been able to do that with Birth 2012. So you can go to birth2012.com forward slash TV and you'll see both uh, an embed uh, slogan underneath the player and also in the uh, navigation bar. Mm -hmm. And on there are the details. And two things you can do, you can uh, embed the whole iframe of the page. So you can be involved in the conversation, involved with the player, uh, and those details are there. And then it's also really easy for you to actually host the whole broadcast yourself on your own Facebook page. And all the details are there as well. It's really, really simple. It takes a couple of minutes to actually embed. Mm. And if you've got any issues, we're there to love you into doing it, and all the details are there to help you do it. Mm. Well, it's, I, I think it's really just beautiful, the idea. I think what we're, what we're wanting is, is for people to take this inspiration and use it to deepen their existing communities. So that's why people are gathering at hubs around the world, and do register your hubs so that other people can find you and meet new people through this. Uh, but also the communities, the Brahma Kumaris are activating their centers around the world and they'll be sharing it through their, their platforms. The Unity Churches, there's a million people in Unity around the world who are um, many, seven, at least 70 churches I think uh, participating and possibly more. Um, there, so all these different hubs, so the existing spiritual communities are saying let's take this inspirational feed in, connect with the larger whole, and deepen our community because ultimately the real value is people coming out of this as artists and philanthropists, that we are, yeah. we are re-inspired to give our full self and our gifts to the world and to send that out. Yeah, you, you, Barbara, everyone, Michael, the welcoming committee, have evoked an opportunity for us to respond. And whatever it takes, I will go over every single mountain and every single ocean to help us respond to the issues. And you've brought that forward, Barbara's brought it forward with her life's work. So we, we mustn't ignore the opportunity. This is an extraordinary time this week for all the reasons that we know in the world. But it's an extraordinary time for ourselves to take our own deepest cut, to get rid of the old, to bring forward our own new, and do it on the 21st and 22nd in incredible company. <laughs> Amen, brother. <laughs> hey, hey. It's awesome to be doing this together. I love you. I love you too. Three days of love, three, three days of love. Oh, what oh a no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie saw he saw he saw the hug with Don Miguel and he got jealous. So he wanted his own. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you as well. All right. Well, let's let's go to an update and thank you, Charlie, for joining us. Well, after that beautiful hug from Charlie, I, my mind is uh, not focused on the updates here, but let's, let's dive into it anyway. We, um, first, the first order of business is really letting you know about the films that we're going to have coming up. What we want to do, there's a lot of films that have been created specifically targeted for this moment, that they were off, sometimes six, seven years in production saying, you know what, this is a critical moment for humankind. There's a movie called Shift of the Ages releasing this month, and we're going to be showing that on the platform. Choice Point, a movie that also is talking about we're really cr hitting this critical choice point on the planet. We need to reconnect with our true purpose and express that in how we live. And so we're going to be releasing Choice Point today, right after this show, 12.30 at birth2012.com forward slash TV. You can, you can access it live or you can access it on video on demand from this point forward. We're going to do another movie later called Kantakwa, releases at 7 p.m. Pacific. It's, a much, it's not a linear story, but more of a, 
a musical exploration of like the depth of what wants to emerge. It's, it's artistry set to, set to video. Uh, it's almost hard to describe. It has elements of Cirque du Soleil in it. So we're going to be doing these over the next few days and weaving those into the early stage of the global webcast. And what I want to let you know is I've been actually telling the wrong date, uh, uh, wrong time rather, for the beginning of the global webcast from Byron Bay. And I think what we're going to do is tomorrow, instead of doing the live update now, we're going to, we're going to time delay it a little bit and start it right before Byron Bay at 7 p.m. Pacific. So we'll have the last news from, um, from Los Angeles here, the last news show, and then we're going to go to Byron Bay, and then we're going to have uh, get to witness uh, Barbara Marks Hubbard in the theater of our birth, which is going to be a spectacular project production that is telling the grand story of our evolution over 14 billion years to this moment in time so that we are able to um, really get the context for this evolutionary leap that we're going through, this planetary shift point. And so what I want to do is actually Barbara offered to speak to this for just a a short minute clip. But well, let's cue that up and so we hear directly from Barbara herself the beauty and the magic and the mystery of what she's going to be bringing forward. Hello, I'm Barbara Marks Hubbard and this is the invitation of our life. It's to participate in the theater of our birth, a live multimedia story and we're all starring in it. And it tells the story of how we got here, where we are right now, and what's being born in all of us. We do a meditation, a first planetary meditation, of incarnating the impulse of creativity in our hearts. And we imagine ourselves going out into a global communion of pioneering souls through projects that are working in every field, connecting with the genius of the human race, and then collectively in a live, theater of action. We're going to experience what it feels like to be the one, to be whole, to be born, to be universal. We will be infusing the nervous system and the consciousness of humanity collectively as our birth. Every one of us is a participant in this theater. It's a theater of action to give birth. So think of what is being born in you now. During the birth theater, what is it that you are contributing to the birth of all of us? And how can you realize your full potential as part of the one planet Earth now giving birth? That's the theater. I invite everybody to tune into the live stream theater of our birth coming to you from Byron Bay, Australia. I just love Barbara and you, this is going to be an epic production that really initiates this full global journey. And just if you were confused, Barbara is going to be launching this from Byron Bay and then flying to Los Angeles and joining us here live where so many amazing speakers are gathering at Agape. We're going to have Michael Beckwith and Neil Donald Walsh and Jack Canfield and Lisa Nichols and Marsha Weeder and some of the my most inspired teachers, Marianne Williamson, who, who just are able to channel divine wisdom to speak into the heart and soul of humanity to ignite and uplift. And we're going to be pairing that with unbelievable music. We've added Chaka Khan. We have Freddie Ravel, uh, Ricky Byers back with Ozo Motley, which is a fantastic Latin world fusion band from Los Angeles. So they, we're, going to, we're going to have this ecstatic celebration. And at the heart of it is a marker point. Just as the Christian lineage marks the birth of Jesus as a uh, as a teacher, as a, as a great savior. We are marking this not about an individual, but marking a point in time for the world. That it's the birthing moment, if you will, when we are going to hold ritual space, pour our blessings and, and love and all of our prayers into this moment so that it, it activates globally. It's like there's a, there's a sense of like, oh yes, we are, we are doing it. We are making this new reality happen. And out of that field of love and connectivity, there's going to be great celebration and song and beauty and, and mystery and going well into the evening. So there's a, there's a lot that's, that's going to be coming to you from Los Angeles. We're also going to be sharing from the vision stage, 
paradigms about how we need to shift in every domain from art to business to relationships. Some of the pioneers like Gay and Katie Hendricks. We've got some others that are coming online that I'm going to be hopefully be able to announce tomorrow. Some really big names and inspiring individuals who are going to help share this magic with us. So uh, I encourage you now, reach out, spread the word, get the videos out are often really touch people. The one and a half minute video that we now have at Birth 2012 LA. Spread the word, get your community involved, host a global webcast yourself in your own community, and just make the commitment to be a being of love for three days with us. So looking forward to more with you. Thank you.